Over there. There's a bar behind that building. The best whiskey sours in Manhattan. If we take this city back, I'll buy you a drink. Sorry. I mean, when we take it back. Uh, here it comes. The rest of us should be in this chopper. Can't believe it's finally happening. What's up YouTube, this is David from Hit Escape, bringing you part 2 in our Tom Clancy's The Division series. Now, did you guys enjoy that scene as much as I did? That was a pretty good scene. Not as much, I didn't enjoy it as much as I did the opening cinematic, but now we have some backstory as to what happened to Faye. Well, we know what happened, we knew there was a crash, but we find out that oh boom our original ride was destroyed well we kind of already knew that from the beta but I guess we kind of got the scene as to how it happened 
we kind of just saw the initial explosion, but does anybody does, ah, does anybody else find it weird that we came out completely un injured, unscathed? I mean, look at that. Even my I'm gonna turn this around for you guys. Look at that. Look at that. My sunglasses. They are undamaged. Completely undamaged. Even in the video after the explosion and you're lying on the ground, your shades are undamaged. But hey, I can't complain. So let's just get right into this. Alright? So, we need to establish our base of operations. Now, for any of you who played the beta, this is very familiar to you. This is where we start off. I think we started off at level 4, was it level 3? I'm not sure, but I'm right at the level, I'm almost at level 4, so I guess that's about the level you should be at once you start here. But the base of operations, for those of you who never played the beta, any of the betas, we have to go claim our post office. Our base of operations is the big post office that's in Midtown New York. Okay, where is this GTA box? Did I just run past him? Oh, right here. Miss, is this Miss Hempelstein? Yep, that's Mary and Hempelstein. All right. All right. Oh, Adrian, you look tired. All right, all right. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what she says. We got so much to do here. She has sciatica. Sciatica. I feel like I have the same thing. Only time will tell. Alright, let's take a look at the situation board. Whenever you see the situation board, you wanna you wanna stand in front of it until that percentage hits 100. Because otherwise it's not gonna register everything to your map. It's not gonna update your map completely. The stash. Again, this is just... I'm just going over everything real brief. I know in the first video I kind of went over some stuff. So I'm going to continue to do the same, at least for the first three or four videos. This is your inventory, your stash, this is... So this is what we have. This is what you have on you, on your person. If you press square, it's going to send it to your stash. So let's stash... Let's stash this... Oh, can't send it to stash. That's equipped. Let's stash this pistol. Boom. It's in our stash. You can hold, I, I guess, 30, right? That's what it says. We can hold 30 things in our stash. So this is basically your vault, your extra space to keep to keep stuff that you may really want to keep but that has no use for you on your person at any moment in time. It's just extra storage space, basically. Think of the vault in Destiny. That's basically what it is. And you can find them in any of the safe houses You can, and the base of operations. So let's actually go do that. Let's go establish this base. What I want to accomplish in this video today is to at least get the first main mission of the story done. So let's actually try and get that done. We're only about not even four minutes in, so we're we're doing okay on time. So where are we right now? We're on 10th Avenue and okay, it doesn't say what street. Okay, let's just keep going. All right. Whenever you get near something, and I think there's something around here. Hold on, let's give it a second. See if it's here. Yeah. All right. So whenever you're near something, and you have to be really near, I guess within 10 to 15 meters, which is really no distance at all. It the game will inform you if you found something. So an incident report, a survival guide. So yeah, whenever you're near something like a phone, like one of the phone recordings, or a drone, or an incident report, or a survival guide, they won't. The game will inform you that you're near. They don't have to die unless they decide they want to. It's their choice. This is some bullshit. Yeah, but I'm not gonna let some rich assholes get a pass just because I got a family. Everyone's got a family, and mine's starving. Now man up and let's do this. So. Let's make our way to our base of operations. Alright, can I give this civilian anything? Alright, I have canned food. So, here's the good thing. Whenever you see a civilian in need, and when you see someone like that that's kind of like hobbled over, that usually means they need help. They're going to ask you for a canned food, a soda, a water, or sometimes even a med kit. I know you may not want to part with a med kit, but you can always stock up on your med kits back up to max at any of your safe houses or the base of operations so don't be afraid of giving them one 
when you do give them something, they will give you experience as well as drop a cosmetic item. Oh, that's all I've seen thus far, cosmetic items drop. Every time you discover a new area, you are going to gain experience. And I actually got to level 4, which means I'm not, I am now able to equip another gun. Do I have another gun for use? I do. So let's equip this assault rifle. So now, see? Switch guns by pressing triangle. Double tap triangle to switch to your pistol. Alright. So now that we got that figured out, let's keep going. These guys don't need any help. They're just minding their own business. Alright, we're close to the base. So let's let's try and make our way to it. Alright. Just gonna point out something. Actually, let's just finish the mission. Well, the, this is technically part of the main mission. Alert. Let's take these guys Intercepting out. JTF radio traffic. Taking small arms fire! Small arms fire! We will have us in their sight! JTF, hearing this? Please respond! Okay, okay. Tracking signal. Analysis complete. Uploading coordinates. Bend the JTF on. There are like three of them. Why? Morning. Why is it just? Also, why is that one guy special? Is he worth more than the others? All right, he's dead. Kill him. Pistol. Right. I normally don't recommend just rushing in there. Like I just. just Secure. I feel no like I have decent detected. enough aim with my gun that I feel comfortable doing so. Okay, I'm not going to tell you how to play. If you feel comfortable just running in, then do so. It's best to use cover to your advantage, though. Dispatch, this is Division Agent Fei Lau, empowered and authorized by Executive Order and DHS Directive 51. Whoever you are, we're under an all-out assault. I'm not sure how much you right. uh, uh, Screw it, we'll take anything you can give us. How are you on my comms? Alright, so we found some tools. We've got your back. Just right try not to shoot at anyone who's trying to help you. Over. Here. Alert. Patching into local GTF radio channels. Unit 43, be advised. You have incoming division agents as backup to your location. About damn time you get us some help. Get him here right now. Foster, we need support on the stairs. Martinez, move up on the that. plank. Go, go, go! Okay, see this, <laughs> that was really careless of me, I did not use cover correctly, I let my health get way too low, so there you go, I was actually providing you an example of what not to do when playing this game, that was just a test run guys. So let's go really secure the base this time, although whenever you die and more enemies don't spawn, it's just you just have to kill whatever enemies are left. Oh, what the hell? 
Oh! This guy there! Oh my god, I did not see I am not even done here. This is my kid. Okay! So, let's be more strategic. So, let's go get to this cover over here. This guy right on the other side. And it's called blind fire. So, you just kind of stick your hand out. Keep in mind, you can still take damage like this. Just, just don't have as much of you as gold. Let's go there. Alright. Let's go over there. And we can get this guy. But I see you. Alright, he's there. Let's turn the corner, get some more cover. So let's finish this one. We don't want him throwing that grenade. Alright, let's go over there. There aren't any enemy near me, so let's move up a little bit. Alright, we're good here. Let's try to shoot this guy. Okay, it's not working. Can't get a clear shot off. Oh! He did it! Oh, he needs to back up. He did it. I guess that maybe that's just a mission. Or actual side mission. I was playing before. That's what happened. The enemies, the enemies that we killed already. Right. I know how to reload. Let's just throw this grenade in there. Alright. Um, if you hear any background noise, guys, and voices in the background, I apologize for that. As much as I try to record when nobody is around for best quality, I can't always control it. Alright, so let's take out this damn pool. Oh crap, okay. Oh, there's a minute there. Okay, so let's see. Well, you're gonna hear a voice in the background right now, but I'm gonna try to talk over it. Let's shoot this guy. Oh, okay. No bueno. Okay, they're all down. Bitch. Situation outside is now under control. My official report: the division saved our sorry asses. Thanks for the report, Bravo Squad. Uh, stay alert out there and keep it frosty. I'm glad you made it. Now let's rebuild right. our base. Okay. Go on in let's and have a look around. I finally got some transportation, base. so I'm inbound. The base of operations is a personal space. The improvements you make to it are only visible to you. So yeah, even though this game, oh, I'm gonna let the scene play out. Contamination right? levels lowered. Agent, we need our base up and running, and we need to show the people of New York they're getting their city back. Our base of operations has potential, but right now it's a piece of shit and we've got no one to staff it. To get this place where it needs to be, we need people who know what they're doing. Like doctors. There's a virologist running a field hospital over at Madison Square Garden, but the whole area's gone to shit. With her, we can get our medical facilities online. Without her... The JTF commander, Benitez, is out in the field, and he's gone offline. Bring him back. We need him to set up a functional security wing, and it'll do a hell of a lot for morale. We've also got to restore basic services. We need power, and the intel the grid can give us. They had a guy working on that, but it sounds like he ran into trouble patching us in. Without him, right. it's lights out. Isaac can map itself to each of the wings in the base and sync their progress so we can have a bigger picture of what's happening here. And the more right, stable so this base is, the better shape the city will be in. The tech wing has obviously seen better days. But if you can get Rhodes back here, he's apparently got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Former PMC, I think. Knows more than you think he does. I suspect he'll be very useful. The medical wing is a wreck right now. Once we get that virologist over here, we can build up a staff, investigate the origin of the virus, and start getting more supplies. For civilians, but for us as well. Designated smoking areas have been established within the secure zone. The security wing needs some love. And Captain Benitez. The JTF love the guy. 
He can mobilize them and help us get the intel okay. and firepower we need to get all these hostels off the streets. Hey, bad news. I'm not going to be able to get out there. Not with my goddamn leg like this. I'll do what I can from here, but it's not the same. You have no idea how much I wanted to be in the field. I trained for a scenario like this my entire life, but it's worse than anything we could have imagined. You know how they won't let you get too close to anyone, so it won't mess you up when you're finally activated? Well, I did that, and it didn't fucking work. I'm attached. These are my people. This is my city. We're taking it back. Oh. Look, you need to... Yeah, okay. Okay. They're counting on us. Let's not let them down. Alright then. She really messed up. If I do say so myself. Alright, so what was I saying? So we split up each wing. And what I wanted to say when we walked in is that... So the, the progress that you make on this base is individual to you, like they said. So whatever... Whatever upgrades you make to each wing, only you have access to them. So let's say you finish... Let's say you upgrade half the medical wing. Your friends won't have access to that because every time you come into this base, even though you, your, your group is together, it's kind of like a different scenario, a different instance. So each person will see this according to the way they've upgraded it. So I don't want to make this video too long. Like I said, I just want to get the first mission over with and will most likely be done. But you have the crafting station here, which I'm really not too sure about, like how it works yet. But you gather blueprints, which you get from a lot of side missions. The highest blueprints I've seen have only been blue, blue blueprints. <laughs> but if you dis if you dismantle a weapon, so I'm gonna show you an example actually with an armor. So let's let's equip that armor and dismantle this one. So you want to mark this if you want to just this deconstruct it individually. Hold down the L3 button. So you see on the right, it gave me one fabric. Let's do another one. Let's equip that. I want to mark that with L2 so you see it has a little trash can icon next to it. We'll go down. No, we don't. We only have one of that. All right, so we'll put this gold bag. We'll mark this one as junk as well. Whatever you mark as junk will all be de deconstructed at the same time. So I got two fabric, one for each one. Now, what happens here? Once you get to the late game, like I guess around level 30, crafting will become very important. So what I recommend is you do not waste your crafting materials on trying to craft weapons this early in the game because a level 30 gun might end up costing the same. It's, if it's a blue or a green, a level 30 gun might end up costing the same thing as a, as a level 5 blue or green gun right now. And I, this is a personal preference of mine, but I want to save my materials to be able to get the quote unquote exotic guns, the yellow colored guns, the highest tiered guns. And I imagine this would take a lot of high-end parts. So for example here, weapon parts. If you want to make one high-end weapon part, it requires five uh, blue weapon parts. Now, if you want to make a blue weapon part, that requires five green weapon parts. So essentially, one yellow one was going to cost you 25 green ones. So you want to save what you, what you get, and I would recommend not selling it to any of the vendors. Just deconstruct it, get what materials you have. On my main hey, account, I think need? I already have like three yellow fabrics Not and like one yellow weapon part. Into anyway. Just because I've been saving up what I get and I don't sell it. Unless you're really that desperate to get credits, I don't recommend it. So see, we talked to this guy here. We have 309 wallet, uh, wallet, 309 credits in our wallet. And these guns cost the more, right most here. of them cost more than what I have. Best of luck out there. So like I said, try to save your stuff deconstruct it and save the materials or put it into uh, I'll be here building when you higher end materials so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go do the first mission and then we're gonna wrap up this video so this video will most likely Take be about 30 to 35 minutes so let's go do this mission all right so it just gives you some tips on matchmaking the tutorial invite other agents to your group by walking up to them and pressing R you can invite or join your friends from the group management menu. Pending invites are found in the same menu. You can use matchmaking to find a group from matchmaking stations and from the map. So you can either use matchmake, 
matchmaking to just find a group to run around with or matchmake and find a group to play missions with so I should have actually said yes to that mission there I mean to the matchmaking option but let's just get into it so I'm gonna hold square I'm gonna press quick matchmaking again like I told you guys I'm only gonna do these missions on normal mode because hard would take a long time and I'd rather not see you guys watch me wipe five six seven times Alright, so join successful match for Madison Field Hospital, yes. So hold down the R3 button, which is just the R trigger. And let's get this mission started. Like I mentioned before, I'm not a big fan of the loading screens. taking really long isn't it all right so for you viewers out there I want to ask you if you are playing the division already let me know what you think about it so far let me know if you're enjoying it what you like about it what you don't like I know personally from talking to raw that there are a lot of things he well not a lot but there are quite a few things about it that he doesn't like already <laughs> he's still getting adjusted to the game I think he'll grow to love it just probably not as much as I thought he would you want to ask him about what he dislikes about the game just leave your question for him in the comment section and he'll he'll reply to you guys he'll, he'll let you know himself what he thinks is wrong <laughs> but for now we're all right we're in business now so we got two people on our team x lewis we've got a lot of hostels inside agents we're holding dr candle and her and staff we need those personnel back at the base so we can get Same the medical wing functional two Alright, let's kill these bad guys. Our agent has joined your team. Blind fire is kind of a lot of recoil. Oh god, that was terrible. Sorry guys. Dead. Come on, show your head. There you go. Upstairs and finish, finish this guy off. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Don't run away. There you go. Stay down. If you pass me into the security system, right. I might be able to find Candle's location. See? There they are, right there. Patched in. Let's see what I can find. Can you see the CCTV feed? Looks oh, like Candle and her staff are being forced to treat their wounded. I didn't realize That's that the only reason they're enough. still alive. Alright, so they're in that room right there. Up oh, this one. So let's make our way over there. Oh, look, my guys. My teammates left me. Alright. It looks like they've got people upstairs in a restaurant. There's a lot of these guys, yeah, there are but if you a use cover, oh, you should be able else. to pick them off without making Smoke yourself a target. Everyone, so we just, I guess we'll just wait for him to join us. Oh, Lewis, no, I'll save you. Oh, what? How? I was not even weak. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. I was not even weak. Wait, am I gonna make it? No, I'm not. Beast mode's not gonna make it to me in time. Nope, I'm dead. That is bullshit. No, that's that's fucking bullshit. I'm sorry. I was not weak. Okay, he can still revive me. Oh, uh, but he's gonna get killed right now. Okay, so the thing about this. Even Alert. if you go down, if, if you're in need of assistance, as you saw, I was about to pick someone up, about to revive them, it'll revive them quickly. If you're quote-unquote dead, you can still be revived, but it's going to take a really, really long time, so you definitely want to at least try to make it behind cover when you're in that situation. 
Alright, so these guys are not responsive right now. But we have Tutsgaw, who is... There's a lot of these guys, but if you Thanks, use cover, sir. you should be able to pick them off without making yourself a target. Sorry guys, I feel like crap right now, my back is killing me. Why do they have skulls next to them? Is it, are they level 5s? I don't know, 4, but I'm pretty sure I did this before just fine. Is that why they're killing me so quickly? I'm dying in one shot here. Sorry about the background noise. Okay, sorry about that guys. Um Okay. There's something going there's something wrong here. I think it's because this guy's level 16. Because I'm I'm dying in one shot. And Okay, so I'm going to back out of this and try this mission again in the next episode. Because, see, I'm dying in one shot. There's something wrong. I think this is a level 16 guy. But I'm going to let me just run away. See, look at that. One shot, and I practically died. See, I'm down. Okay, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Because this is not really working out too well. Sorry about the background noise again, but I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And hopefully I'll be able to <laughs> find a better pairing after this because this is ridiculous. We are dying in one or two shots. Yeah, they're all purple. Oh no, some of them are purple bars. But they, have, they all have skulls next to their name, kind of like in Destiny. They had question marks when they were too high a level. And I think it's because of that beast mode guy. But because of him... It's all your fault, Beast Mode. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna end it here, guys, and not keep talking. So, I'll see you guys in part three, alright? This is David from Hit Escape. Please tune in next time and check out the rest of our videos. See you later.